In this tutorial, we will learn how to work with weld bead in assembly or you can apply weld information in 3D assembly with the help of weld bead. So this is a assembly. Even you can apply weld on part also. So just open assembly tab. Now go to assembly feature, activate weld bead. Now here first option is weld path. By default it is one weld path selected. Even you can select one more part but if you try to delete this you, you, you can't delete. So you have to work with this weld path. Now come down here we have a weld area which area you, you are going to select for weld. Now here we have two options weld geometry. In part one we will see how it works with weld geometry. In weld geometry, you have to select two faces. Let's say, select this one first, select this one second. Now look, the common area, this line is going to select it between these two geometry. Now let's say, this is the 0 0.15. If you want to keep 0 0.15, one okay see here if you are going to it is selected section if you are going to choose tangent propagation look this is going to select all the edges which is tangent to this edge unchecked if you select both side see this is going to select other side even though one option all around look this is going to select all around the body if you select only in selected area, then there is two more options. Okay, there is a one more options called uh, define weld assembly symbol. Now this is normal symbol. Even if you say weld symbol triangle flat, you can define it here. Define the value 0.5. Okay. Now see this is the information or weld information you will see here. Even though if you want to see length. Now look length also going to reduce or increase. Now one side 0 and another side 1 inch. Let's say 0 0.75. Look in one side this is going to reduce this side let's say 0 0.1 look reverse forward how this is reduce 0 0.1 and from end 0.75 now even though there is one option say okay now you will find all the information in weld folder see here you will see here the length of weld it's one inch this is the main information based on the length you can calculate the cost of weld if you want to edit right click edit feature and simply you can edit from here cancel it now let's say delete this yes now again activate now use weld path and I'm going to select these two faces. Weld information 0 0.1. Now this time I'm going to select all around. If you are going to choose all around, it will delete one options. See? Intermittent. Now here you can define the weld length. See this pink line is weld length and gap between these two pink line. Let's say gap reduce 0 0.2. Look, the gap is going to reduce 0 0.2. And weld length, even you can reduce 0 0.2. See? If you unchecked, check length already selected say okay right click 
on a folder show cosmetic weld look this is how the weld is look like edit feature now from here you can increase the length 0.3 it seems more practical gap reduce 0.15 inch now similarly there is one more option called pitch and weld length let's apply pitch and weld length see this is the length of uh, this one uh, bead and this is the pitch of bead means it is included the length and gap 0.36 if you say 0.4 this is going to be like this okay so we will keep gap 0.3 and here this this one 0.15 this is suitable okay now let's apply again weld here simple weld weld geometry by path now i'm going to select this face and this face this time 0.15 select all round now this is going to select all round and we are not going to apply anything simply say ok and that's it you will see the information even though let's apply one more time here weld bead this face this face apply both side this is going to apply on both side let's say this is also going to be 0.5 0.5 this is going to be smaller one okay that's it don't forget to share like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching